First turn over the notebook while in a powered off state. Remove the battery using the two sliding locking mechanisms. Move them in an outward direction. Removing the back panel is done by hyperextending the rightmost locking mechanism as shown. Next, locate and remove the three screws holding the keyboard in place. Two are below the battery and one is next to the cooling fan. Next, remove the two screws holding the cooling fan in place. Be careful not to tug on the power cable attached to the fan. Remove the fan power cable by rocking the plastic connection out of the socket with a spider tool or your fingernail. Do not remove by pulling on the wire. With the fan removed, use your finger to push on the mesh area. This will push the keyboard forward enough to allow a decent grip to pull the tabs along the top of the keyboard away from the chassis. Do so gently and be careful not to pull the ribbons attaching the keyboard. Locate the zero insertion force connectors and gently flip them upward with a fingernail or a spudger tool. Please do not break these. Insert the ribbons on the new keyboard with the metallic side facing downward and the plastic up. This is how the keyboard makes its data connection to the system. Click the bar on the zero insertion force connections back into place to secure the ribbons. Pay attention to the tabs at the bottom of the keyboard. These will need to be tucked underneath the chassis where the palm rest is. Please make a note of the pin alignment on the connector for the fan and make sure that it goes back into the socket in the right orientation. Please do not force this connection. Simply follow the steps we performed earlier to reassemble your notebook and all should be great. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.